as the effects of climate change intensify, rural communities are coming up with innovative ways to cope with the challenge. One such farmer is George Muturi. He has chosen to focus on an unusual form of farming that has transformed this community. He is practicing a unique type of farming and is rapidly gaining popularity because of the huge benefits. So here what we are doing, we are raising earthworms and uh, specific carrier earthworms. And uh, the idea of uh, raising earthworms is just to help us in composting. So we feed the earthworms with a variety of waste, they break that down, and after a period of time, of which is six weeks, one month and a half, now we get ready to harvest our compost that we use in our farm and also we are able to, to sell to other farmers. Now, uh, when I was starting this uh, kind of farming, my idea of how I started was all about uh, trying to get a solution for a challenge that I had, feeding my chicken. The black soja fries also are a source of protein. They are a source of protein for mainly chicken and uh, pigs and fish. And uh, for them, they, 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 they require uh, a unit, a greenhouse, depending on where one is. Uh, they require, they feed on waste also. Uh, that is market waste, fruit, vegetable, food waste. And uh, for them, they take, their cycle is uh, a month and a half, 45 days. And uh, once we, we, yeah, you get the eggs, they hatch, they start growing, they'll take a period of uh, 14 to 21 days. Then you can also harvest and feed them to the chicken. Through an integrated form of farming, he has been able to maximize on the use of space. I kept on doing my own research on the internet, trying to see what is being done by other people, maybe in uh, other parts of the world. So also in farming currently, we are doing such gardens like the multi-story gardens. His farm is also teeming with different kinds of livestock from poultry, dairy cows, pigs and rabbits. He is also farming azola, which is used as animal feed and is gaining popularity among livestock farmers. So azola is an aquatic plant. It's a, a naturally growing plant that we, we find in freshwater lakes, swamps, and uh, it's a feed for the fish at the lakes. So now what we are doing, we're just growing it at home, uh, just giving it the required conditions, that is stagnant water, nutrients, then we introduce the plant there. He also has ready market for indigenous food crops. We use the social media basically majorly for marketing like uh, for the compost for the worms for the trainings that we do because also at the farm we do trainings george has been able to transform his neighborhood by offering job opportunities to young women and other youth who have learned new skills we have been able to to interact with some from especially from uganda some from tanzania we have been able to uh, to share the knowledge with them others to help them start uh, their own production from there. And uh, I can say the uptake of the technology have been really, uh, have been good. And because water is a scarce commodity, he has also mastered the art of water harvesting. During the hot and dry season, he prevents water evaporation by planting water cabbage. So now the vermicompost, whenever we use it at the farm, we find that we don't use a lot of water as compared just to using thermal manure and compost and composted manure. And to conserve the environment and prevent the cutting down of trees for firewood, he has installed a biogas system which is used for cooking in the homestead.